Padres hosting the D-backs, and the D-backs are plus 153 on the money line. The Padres are minus 182, over, under, nine runs. The D-backs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you'd win. And the Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 120, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. And if you like a specific pitcher in this game, bet them overnight, but make sure that you bet the pitcher and not the team because if they scratch the pitcher, at least you'll get your money back and you won't lose your bet. Now, Fad did pitch, I'm going to butcher his last name, Fad, pitched once against the Padres this year, last week, five and two thirds, three runs, three earned, they won that game, five to four. They are four and six in his last 10 appearances, he's averaging five innings pitched and 4.7 strikeouts per game in those games. In that game against the Padres, he struck out eight batters. They are two and three as a team in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.8 and he's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched. He has not thrown over 100 pitches. Mid 80s seems to be like the range for him. Uh, the under is four, zero, and one in his last five starts. Three earned runs, eight strikeouts, 92 pitches. Four earned runs, five strikeouts, 88 pitches. One earned run, seven strikeouts, 84 pitches. Three earned runs, three strikeouts, 85 pitches. Three earned runs, six strikeouts, 89 pitches. For Lugo, he pitched twice against the D-backs this year. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game 9-0 in Arizona. He struck out six. Five innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game 5-4 to four in uh, Arizona, and he struck out four batters. They've lost his last four starts. They are 2-8 and eight as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game in his last 10 games. So I'm kind of confused as to why he's the heavy favorite in this game, but I, you know, I just read the numbers that I see. His last outing was four strikeouts, 87 pitches, two earned runs. Uh, if we just go by earned runs, two earned runs, eight earned runs, two earned runs, two earned runs, two earned runs. So that's his last five. So he's been giving up about two earned runs. He just had really one trash outing. He threw over 100 pitches once, and he's had four strikeouts, two strikeouts, nine strikeouts, eight strikeouts, and seven strikeouts. Head-to-head, the road team is 6-4. and four. The D-backs are on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line, depending upon if you got the D-backs as a favorite or an underdog today. If you got them as an underdog today, the favorite is 6-4. and four. If you got them as a favorite, the favorite is 7-3. and three. The underdog is on a two-game winning streak. Yet again, that's if you got the D-backs as an underdog. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5, five and five, and that's considering the D-backs being an underdog. If you got the favorite, then it flips, and the favorite laying a run and a half is 6-4. and four. There have been two one-run games in their last 10. The over is 5-3-2 and two in their last 10 meetings between each other, and the over 9 specifically is 4-3-3. Three, and three. So four games went over, three games went under, and three games hit 9 exactly. The last game that Fad pitched hit 9. The D-backs won 3-1, 5-4, 3 nothing, and then the Padres won the three previous games, 10-5, 7-5, and 5-3. The D-backs are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. They're on a three-game winning streak. They are 5-1 and one in their last six. The under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10 games, beating the Padres 5-4, then losing 6-4 to four to the Rockies, and then uh, beating the Rockies 8-5, beating the Rockies 9-7, and then beating the Padres today 3-1. For the Padres, they are 3-7 and seven in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last 4, and the under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10 games. The under has hit in 3 out of their last 4 games, losing 4-1 to one to the Orioles, beating the Orioles 10-3, 5-2, and then losing to the D-backs today 3-1. to one. I like the kid again. I don't know why Lugo is the favorite. I'm going to take the D-backs with the money line. I'm going to take the D-backs getting the runs, and I'm going to go under. Chances are this game is going to hit nine, and it won't matter. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.